Welcome back to Squawk with me, Bruce Whitfield. For the first time since apartheid ended in 1994, regulators have banned a local movie. The film, entitled Of Good Report, contains what they call child pornography and examines the abuse of girls by older men. It's been halted, the screening's been halted this month at a Durban International Film Festival. With everything else we see on TV, apparently top TV carries dirty movies. Should there really be a ban on such a film? Well, that's a moralistic argument, and we're not going to talk about that because this, of course, is Squawk, where we talk about investments and companies and shares. But a little birdie told me earlier on this week that top TV, DSTV, are going to face some competition. Two lots of competition, in fact. Cajiso looks like it wants to go into the broadcast space in a digital format, and also HCI, the owners of ETV, also want to go into the space. So very Variety seems to be the, 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 the run of things at the moment. Cajiso is interesting. I mean, he has a media company, lots of radio assets going into TV. If they thought radio was expensive to run, they're in for a fright, I suspect. <laughs> um, but it's good they're beginning this competition. Maybe somebody's going to take on Nussbach one. The only, the only danger or the only thing that I keep asking is, can I get those three channels or do I now have to go to Ellie's again and get another satellite dish or do I? Wayne you know, Sampson is so happy and so I'm, excited. I'm, well, that means that they're gonna, you're going to have to get more dishes. You know, that's mm. sure. M more dishes. So your house is going to look like you live in Morocco. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> uh, yeah. And you're going to have uh, to have a really big TV cabinet with four set-top boxes uh, on it. Yeah, I, I have to say that um, I've gone through DSTV. It's absolutely awful. Without the, you know, only when the premiership comes back. And with that's CNBC that. Africa, of course. And CNBC yes. Africa. Of course. And, yeah, yeah, of, course. Yeah, of course. But I'm saying generally from an entertainment <laughs> point of view, oh, there's absolutely nothing. You know, Big Brother, Swaziland, or whatever is else. <laughs> I don't know. It's rubbish. So I look forward to some a bit of competition. I've just thought of a brand new <laughs> reality series that you could do with the royal family. My big fat Swazi wedding, for example. <laughs> My big fat Swazi weddings. I mean, uh, there's an in the supply of material. <laughs> it's fabulous. Um, I copyrighted that idea, incidentally. Um, but, here, but here we've got the TV market mm. opening up. Mm. Now, uh, you've got HCI, which owns ETV, wants to have a channel with 20, mm. with, the, with mm. ultimately with 20 different channels on it, brilliant. Um, free to air as well in the satellite space, which serves yeah. a market that is not currently yeah. served by even the, the value bouquets on this channel. Mm, but what do you think people want to watch? Mm. It's sport, 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 sport. That's where they're expanding if a lot of channels on the DSTV bouquet. I wonder if I could pay less if I just said you'd you take No, you know how much you would pay? You'd pay near three grand a month just for the sports subscription because- I don't want the sports subscription. No, you can have the sports subscription, I'll have the rest. You know what Chris Becker said? Mm. He said that without their sponsorship, there would be no PSL. Mm. Mm. In other words, there wouldn't be, you know, he put it in uh, ways that there wouldn't be, P you know, wouldn't be dressing rooms, there wouldn't be anything like that. And that just shows you. But it's not just PSLs, every single African country he, now. In Africa, in Africa, to, it means, yeah. it says there would be no soccer in Africa no soccer if it wasn't for yeah. DSTV. You know, okay. that's, it, that's through the subscription. So it shows you the demand for sport Love and sport. what they can And jump. the fact that they've mm. got those sporting rights tied mm. up means that it's quite hard for an HGI and a Cajiso to yep. come in and compete. Yeah. But the SABC is so blim and diabolical in its public oh, service yeah. mandate yeah. that I can see ETV filling that gap very easily mm. doing some public mm. service broadcasting with a set-top box and an dish that's going to cost you some yeah. about 1900 and they've rand. they've got the of Ellie's. And Ellie's will come around to your house and mm. install it. You pay them a fee and off you go. And yeah. then there's no fee after that. It's between model. one and a half and 2000 rand, yeah. I think, for the full mm. infrastructure. And then like you said, it's free from there. Because, I mean, courtesy of that nice, uh, the, well, a series of very nice ministers in the Department of Communications, we still don't have a digital strategy for the SABC either, which was supposed to years ago um, have set top boxes. Again, to quote Mr. Becker, he says, all they have to say is yes. Yeah. That's all. He says, they just have to say yes, everything's in place for that to happen. Mm. Diabolical, mm. absolutely diabolical. But yes, so nice but competition. We're getting a new minister, aren't we? We've got a new there minister. There is a new minister. New yeah. minister. We have. We have yeah. got a new minister. He just has to say yes. He's got red. So he's got red socks. <laughs> where the previous one had red soles on the.